and I'm not not tonight actually. <laughs> Would be appropriate, but I want there to be more folks around for that. Plus, I want that to be more of a big thing. Realms of Chaos, that sounds better. Red, worse. It's gotta be a 3D Realms game, right? Oh yeah. Back to DOSBox. to read that whole this game is not <laughs> this game is not shareware screen but that's okay all right we're going to options lower that a little bit i think actually the music is totally fine it's just the sound effects that were um, blood password Really now. <laughs> Let's find out. Realms of Chaos. Blood Password. Oh hey. <laughs> the three D realms. Original description. Originally released November 11th, 1995. And this site does not have... Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what it is. It is a hate-blood password to prevent it. It's not... Like, I, I, I was thinking it was like a Mortal Kombat thing. We had to enter the password to get the blood turned on in the first place. In the game. And of course, in traditional Apogee 3D Realms style, it's in three <laughs> um, chapters or individual episodes or what have you. Spacebar switches between characters. So maps, get out of here. kind of terrible at dealing with bats. single bat. Not oh, like that one, but still.
Wow, how did I miss half the gems? Wow. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder how many lives we get. Swipe of the sword from the warrior kills the wolf. Oh, that is a really terrible mechanic. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother grabbing all of the fireball gems. seen enough of this one. I'm going to guess that you guys will <laughs> agree with me on that. I'm just going to read through um <laughs> just reading the official 3D Realms webpage. High speed, 360 degree scrolling playfield, viewed at a tilted perspective, gives the game a depth of view that's missing in games like Jazz Jackrabbit. <laughs> Many unique and fantastic game puzzles that are not rehashes of what you've seen in other games. Some areas concentrate on fighting and action. Others concentrate on exploration and discovery. This makes for fresh, exciting, and new challenges on every level. <laughs> Vibrant, realistic VGA graphics. Tons and tons of graphics that actually take you to new worlds. You'll want to see what's behind every corner, even if it means running into things that want to kill you.
Chaos is never knowing what you'll find next, and each difficulty level adds new challenges to the game rather than simply making enemies harder to kill. Playing the game in Psycho Mode is a different game than playing in Normal Mode. Let's, uh... Let's find that out. Psycho Warrior. I mean, we may not have gotten far enough into the game yet to actually see what the changes are, particularly since they were quite right that enemies are not more difficult to kill, although I have less stamina. Do tell, Bell. So the difference appears to be... Oh right, yeah, you, you mentioned the Mega Man games. We talked about that not happening. They're, they're not even... fun or enjoyably bad, they're just... boring. So yeah, no. Oh no, she also has two hit points still. So, yes. Takes twice as many hits to kill things with the sorceress. Including the statues. yet noticed anything different, so... Probably just not far enough into the game to really tell. But also, totally possible that they are just, uh, lying about that. <laughs> so then. As I said, let's get out of that. And I think that will be all for me 